listening to the Mark Bradford podcast. This is the number one reason you don't complete a goal. Really? Well, hi there. So what is properly charging a battery, filling a bucket to the very top, properly pouring a beer, and accomplishing a goal all have in common? And before I tell you, let me also tell you that this is probably the number one reason preventing you from reaching a goal. Yeah, it's that big. It's the number one reason that people don't execute and finish a goal. It's because of this thing. It's not all those other reasons that you beat yourself up for. It's not about enough energy or or commitment or any of that other stuff. It's this thing right here. So to charge a battery properly, it's the same process as filling a bucket or pouring a beer. So when it comes to electronics, if you overcharge the battery, you can very well destroy it and even cause fires and stuff like that. If you undercharge the battery, well, you're not getting as much of your return on investment for this battery. If you paid a certain amount of money to get a battery that gives you 12 hours of life and you only charge it up to 10 hours or 9 hours or 8 hours, it's like you only have an 8-hour battery. So that's not a good thing. So if the charger undercharges it, that's bad. If the charger overcharges it, that's very detrimental. If you fill a bucket full of water and you just say, well, I want to fill it, quote unquote, fill it, and your quote unquote fill is the same as that eight hours out of 12 hours. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do that. You just dump a bunch of water in there and go, whoa, 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 that's enough. Okay, cool. Good enough. Right? You're starting to see the connection here. If you pour a beer and you want to do it properly and get the proper head and all that stuff, you pour it sort of fast, right? And then what do you do? You kind of slow down, right? Aha! So, pouring that beer, filling that bucket, and charging that battery all have that same element in common. And an element is that the closer you get to the top, or you truly want to get exactly to the finish line, you have to slow down, don't you? So chargers actually do that. They slow down as they get closer and closer to the top. In fact, some chargers sort of cheat, and they'll get you to about 98%. And they just stop what they're doing. So if you have your laptop plugged in, it'll get it to about 98 and let it just sit there. And then you feed off of power. And then as the battery trickles down to 96, then they'll say, oh, yeah, I'll charge it a little bit more. But they only do that little trickle charge. Same thing happens when pouring a beer properly, right? You sort of slow down. And what else do you do? You become more careful. So in all these instances, you are slowing down. And you're becoming more careful at the end. Now, the difference between your goal, whatever it is that thing you want to do, weight loss or, or start a business, you know, some are more complicated than, than others. Some are just a number on a scale, which still is fairly complicated in real life. And some are multi-level with many, many tasks connected to them. So in all those instances, you start out really strong. You dump the water into the bucket. You charge the battery with maximum amps. And then as you get closer to the goal, you kind of have to slow down, right? It's kind of like the whole metaphor that I like to say is that if, if, you're, if you're here in one city and you want to go to another city that's 70 miles away and you, and you point your car at it as best as you can and there are no roads, let's say, and you just start driving. Well, as you get closer to it, you go, oh, I was a bit off from the beginning, wasn't I? And you turn a little bit. And then as you get closer, you turn a little bit more. It's the same thing for all these processes and the same thing for goals. You get close to the end of the goal and a couple things happen. You find out that you were a little bit off on what you were trying to do because you learned a lot of knowledge, a lot of pain along the way. And you're like, oh, okay. This is how it works. Well, I can't just keep plunging forward. I kind of have to adjust. Or the goal changes. I mean, as you get closer to the goal, you realize, well, yeah, that was what I wanted in general. But it specifically, I want this other thing. You know, and it's not black and white. It's more of a, I wanted light blue versus blue And when it comes to this kind of goal. A third thing can also happen that you find that... 
there is no replacement goal and you really didn't want this goal all that much. So you kind of give up, right? You kind of fill your bucket to 70%. You charge your battery to four hours. Uh, the beer is kind of half poured. So in all cases, you know, there's no worry about overdoing it, but by the same token, you didn't get that exact thing you wanted. You didn't get that holy grail that you were looking for. Is that a bad thing? It can be. I mean, if you truly needed to do that goal and you kind of gave up and said, well, that was good enough. Well, a long track record of doing that means you kind of have a mediocre track record and all the stuff in your life you wanted to do. You know, you need to lose 50 pounds. So you lose 20 and you go, oh, I lost some weight. You know, you know, you really want to work out and be healthier and you only work out once every couple of weeks. You want to make that relationship much better with your wife or husband, but you only do that date night when it's convenient and eh, it's fine. We still live together, <laughs> you know, and all those cases, you you made some improvement, but you didn't really check off the goal. You didn't run through the the um, the goal line. Sorry, finish line. You didn't do it in my podcast called Stolen Validation. I talk about how we get validation from something we do for ourselves and we sort of do it before we've done the thing. And I call that stolen validation because we're stealing it from our future self. Therefore, when we get there, oh, yay, I already I was excited. I already, I already celebrated. So something like that can also happen when you're getting close to that goal. You start to savor the fact that you're going to win and you don't because now you're so hooked on savoring. And there are some good YouTube videos out there in which people celebrated too early trying to cross the finish line and someone else beat them. You can look those up. They're hilarious. But that's the same concept in which you say, yay, I did it. And you start telling your friends and this and this. And then you realize you told them at the point in which it gets the most difficult because, yes, you lost those first 20 pounds or 30 pounds, but it's that final 10 pounds that's going to be really hard and to keep those off. And now... And now it starts slipping again. You realize, well, this isn't like it was for the other ones. It was kind of easy, you know? Now it's starting to be difficult. And because you already validated yourself and you celebrated, you... Yay. It, it, don't do that. Don't do that. It's okay to have a bit of celebration. You should always be rewarding yourself. You should always be kind to yourself and not beat yourself up. If I had a quarter for every time I said that, hey, wait. Why don't you give me a quarter every time I say that? Thank you. I'm just kidding. So when it comes to accomplishing a goal, keep this in mind. It's something I've learned through the system that I created and some goals that I've accomplished. One of those is definitely publishing a book. There's a lot more than just writing, editing and going, we're done. The really hard part comes at the end. <laughs> so you get to know about this whole process of charging, filling, and so forth. My summary advice to you is that when you are approaching a goal, assuming you approach the goal as a system, once you approach the goal and you're getting closer, understand that naturally this goal is going to require more time and effort and a lot more granularity near the end where you get closer and you go, okay, okay, is this what I wanted? Is this the right direction? I gotta be a little bit more careful now. I can't just use brute force to get through this. I have to get to the end where I need to do this the way that I really wanted to, the way that's gonna satisfy me, the way that's gonna make me proud and people are gonna validate me and I'm gonna validate myself. So be careful for paralysis by analysis where you say, is this the right thing? Am I doing this right? Am I, you know, And be careful that you don't over-validate yourself and celebrate before it happens. And just think about the metaphor of charging the battery so that if things do seem to be slowing down at the end, that's okay because you don't want to overcharge that battery. You don't want to spill the beer all over. You want to give it the proper head and you want to make the latte perfectly and you want to get that bucket filled all the way to the tip top, but you don't want to spill any. If you think of these metaphors and you think of what I just said, Completing that goal will be a lot easier and you won't get to an, a 70% goal again and then beat yourself up and then delay yourself again. And I think all this comes at a really good time because New Year's is coming up and you can listen to my systems, not goals. And you can also listen to this because this is really going to help you. And if it does help you or you think I'm full of garbage, 
feel free to write to me and contact me through all the ways that I mention. And thank you. And also, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Hey, it's me. Thanks for listening. I appreciate you coming back. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. I'm always interested in your feedback. I really look forward to it. So let me know what you think. Thank you. Oh yeah, check out the status game too. You might like it.